is Andre. We're going to keep looking at using the loop A synchronized to the Korg vocal line. In the previous video, we looked at being able to maintain consistent sync between the loop A and the Volca drum, even while changing the length of the loop. That involved expanding and contracting the loop A's length based on integer multiples of its original length or eighth note subdivisions of that original length all while keeping the Volca tightly synchronized to the original loop's tempo. Now, one of the Lupe's secret weapons is the ability to radically redefine the length of the loop, completely outside of conventional rhythmic relationships to the original loop. We can expand the loop by just a few milliseconds in one spot, or we can shorten the entire loop down to just a few milliseconds, and we can continuously reshape the loop's content in this kind of way. In cases like this, the Lupe doesn't maintain the original loop's tempo. It calculates a new tempo based on these irregular changes made to the original loop, and then sends that new tempo out as a new sync value which the Korg Volca drum can follow. So this opens the door to all kinds of possibilities for working with polyrhythms, metric modulation, evolving loop tempos, and general rhythmic madness. Alright, now let's look at what happens when the Volca gets changing loop length information, not in terms of multiples of the original loop, but in terms of loop lengths that are completely redefined outside of integer multiples. Here's what I mean by that. I'm going to record something very basic here. And what we're doing right now is constantly expanding in contracting the loop length using unquantize sus multiply and insert and replace. So let's say we want to have the Volca play along with that. Now here again, we can stop and restart the Volca and decide that somebody else is going to be the new downbeat. But let's see what happens when we have the vocal playing along and then we change the loop length over here by not, again, not by multiples, by very small bits. You can hear that slowed down now to match the new loop length. So as soon as we finish redefining the new loop length, the Volca adjusts its tempo to match. I'm going to use the Volca to give me a reference for overdubbing some stuff. Bring feedback lower. There we go. Now let's see what happens if we start doing kind of metric modulations. So right now we have one, two, three, four. Let's try turning this into three. So one, two, three. And now the Lupe is treating that as a bar of four, four. So you've got that weird polyrhythmic stuff going on. Rick Walker could totally tell me what's happening right now. I can't explain it, but I like it. All right, let's do, I'm just gonna count it loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two. 
One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And let's do some more fake metric modulation polyrhythmic stuff because I really enjoy that stuff. So now it's one, two, three, four. Let's do three. So one, two, three. Whew. Let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. And when I'm doing this, I'm totally following the Volca for the reference. Let's do a fast seven. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do six. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, longer seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. One, two, three, four. Let's stretch this out a little bit. Go back to something kind of sane. And stretch things out a little more. So again, right now this is an unquantized instut function, which is gradually expanding short lengths of the loop, depending on how long we hold it down for. I'm going to turn this off for a second. So it's kind of like a manual granular time stretch. And it also means that you can change the loop length on a millisecond by millisecond basis if you're so inclined. I have no idea where the downbeat is, but the Volca can tell us. And a little more metric modulation to wrap things up. One and two and three and four and five and. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm not even thinking about it. And now this is one of those situations where it would actually be useful to have one of those higher pulse per quarter note values. So let's move that to 16. So now even though the loop is much longer and I would have no idea where the timing was without this, now I can hear it pretty clearly. So let's give that a try. Let's have the drums go to halftime. Gonna stop the Volca. Now I'm just restarting it in random rhythmic spots within the loop to change the feel. gonna be really fast but <laughs> Thank you. 